Peter. Hello. Cars are nursery rhymes. They're a natural fit. Peas and carrots. So if I was to say the Honda HRV, what's the first nursery rhyme that comes to mind? There once was an ugly duckling. That is harsh because the HRV has spent time with Freddie Prince Jr. in the 90s and he's ugly no, no more. more. So the HRV went away for a little while. Yes, and like a butterfly from the cocoon, it has emerged. Ooh, it's much better looking. So um, much better. And lower, rather than being kind of, yeah. you know. It, it needed its beauty sleep. It really needed to wrap itself up nice and tight in that thing and come out looking yeah. much better. So the interior, there's a lot of it. There is a lot of which it. Which is quite impressive. I mean, this is a small car, it's kind of like I mean, a Mazda CX-3 size, and you can't fit anywhere near the amount yeah. of stuff in a CX-3 as you can in here. And this is something that Honda do really well. Yes. Small cars that fit in a lot, a lot of, of stuff. Even the Jazz. The Jazz is tiny, but yep. you can fit a lot of people and stuff. Well, this is based on the Jazz. Yeah, you I shall have you know. Yes. Um, and uh, it, it has some of the Jazz's best features, like this huge windscreen so you can look out, yeah. um, and all very kind of jazzy. <laughs> Um, it's even got the magic seats at the back. They're not exactly like the, the Jazz ones, but they're quite good the way they fold in different directions. And I mean, the boot's huge. Mm. And it's got that clever, when, when they first came out, those that clever kind of springy thing that you can twist up and, and fold away, used to flap. But they seem to have fixed it, so it doesn't flap anymore. So the, um, uh, yeah, the, the flapping's gone, so that's good. This. Yes. Now this. Now, a couple of things that light up my life this but one of them cup is holders. cup holders that have adjustable sizes so so that fits in a big and a little and you press the button and it whoop. Um, it doesn't have a nav um, system and yes I know every phone does but you know sometimes you just yeah I, I, yeah I'm not a fan but any car that you can just get in and drive yeah, and don't yeah. need to have a PhD in <laughs> button and blah, 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 blah. Which is if, the upside of the crappy entertainment Well, system. that's true. Um, um, it is a good thing. Yeah, and um, I mean, I call it a crappy entertainment system, but the sound's quite good, the six speakers. Yeah. Um, just and, and the cool dashboard. I think the dashboard's really cool with that big central speedo with that 3D kind of look about it. I quite like that. Okay, I hadn't really put that much thought into it, but if the speedo's your thing. <laughs> I will confess, oh, well, it's hardly a confession, I generally despise CVTs. Uh, Wait, what is a CVT? A continuously variable transmission. So basically, it's, it's a rubber band and a couple of um, wheels that, that just continuously vary the, the ratio of the transmission. So that's okay. why when you boot it, it goes right to the top of the rev range, which is where all the power is. Yeah. Uh, and stays there. So, you know, in a normal car, it'll go but the right, CVT okay. just goes So they're very efficient in their own way. Uh, but where they work best is in cars that aren't super torquey. And because this is not a turbo, naturally aspirated, or even a diesel, just a 1.8 litre petrol, it's found in lots of Hondas. Uh, it doesn't have lots of torque. It's got enough, but not a lot. Um, it's yeah, it's enough. just a, it's, it's a good CVT. And I mean, you can go back through all of my Subaru videos and watch me rail at length about um, CVTs being bad. Uh, but this one is not bad. But if you have a life, <laughs> you won't. The screen itself, there's only one complaint, real complaint I have about the ergonomics is um, the volume buttons. Oh. Just want a normal knob, uh, because I'm a normal knob. Um, a rotary dial of some description. Oh, you and your bloody rotary There we dials. go. Well, you know, I said knob and you lost it. Um, <laughs> well, no, I couldn't because I have to concentrate on, like, you know, people don't like it when you ram up the back of them because you're talking about your knob. <laughs> oh yeah, I went there. So you get all these cool, funky things. An ear in the VTIL, up here in the the mid thirties, you get the sunroof, and you get, um, yeah, you know, stereo with a bit more grunt, and you get this. this actually, this leather interior is quite nice. 
So here's what I like about this car. Mm-hmm. So we've just like sat in silly amount of traffic. Yes. Comfortable. Yep. Aircon's good. Yes. Um, it's like ridiculous hot today. It is disgusting. So... And, it, and, and it, where aircon struggle is when it's humid. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like 120% humidity. And we've got into this thing and it is ice cold. Yep. So the newly pretty Honda HRV. What do we think? I like it. Yep. Solid three and a half for mine. Mm, mm. Um, it's great to drive. Rocking aircon mm. when it's 32 degrees and 120 percent humidity. Yes, that is, it is a excellent. Tick. Yep. Lots of room. Um, you know, you can move the seats easily. You know, in the back and. Yeah, it ticks all the boxes for mine. Yep. Solid three and a half. Yep, I am going to give it three and a half as well. And as I said before, it's all about the amazing interior. Mm. Driving experience is great in that it's inoffensive, it's fine in traffic, it has a CBT I like, which is two now, which is scary, both in a Honda. Um, yeah, three and a half for me as well. Baking off your makeup with <laughs> Nikki Cousins. <laughs> Today we're in 32 degree heat and 97% humidity. And getting sunburned ch- from the ground. And my face falling to the side. <laughs> Come with me as I become a Dali painting. <laughs>